Chow. Woo! Oh my gosh, guys, it's the 18th. Yes, 309. Thank you for mentioning that. I sure. never noticed. And these were just leaked a few weeks ago, and I found them at my local Walmart. Well, it's not local, it's like 20 minutes away. But hey, look at this! What the heck? I never expected to find. Bruh. Heck yes. Well, fuck that. But hey, I'm happy. Uh, whatever the launchers. Do they have the new NASCAR wave? No, they don't. Hey, but at least they got the endurance racers. That's better than nothing, right? Look, they're fully stocked here. Um, I only see one have flipped over and the other dude, Michael Roder, so far though. I'm just gonna double check and look through everything because it doesn't hurt to check. Jackson Storm, Ed Trunkin. Yeah, it looks like there's only a set of. Is he new? Yeah, these oh. two are new. If you, in case you haven't been listening for the past minute. <laughs> these two are the new ones so hooray it is october 6th and i'm at target and uh first of all i see a reboot merch disgusting but i'm not going to be touching on that i'm going to be touching on these that just dropped it's another wave of welcome to radiator spring scars now we got doc luigi and guido and sarge he's up here so i just stocked these i don't know when because you know i was in school so i couldn't see when they stocked these in the morning but I'm gonna be picking up Luigi and Guido because I can see the differences already and I wanna make a video on them. Tool gun and the eyes are different on this one. The keychain looks pretty cool. I'm gonna pass on this one because I've already reviewed Vietnam Dock before. But there's a look at, uh, look at this keychain and the back. Retailing for $4.99. We have Mater, McQueen, Fillmore, more Luigi and Guidos, and duplicates of everyone else. So, Sarge right here. Let me see if we can focus. There we go. Looks to be very similar. The keychain looks pretty cool, but I'm not gonna be picking him up. So really the only one I'm gonna be picking up is Luigi and Guido. Guys, guys, it is the 9th of October and I came to Walgreens. I'm like 30 minutes away from my house and look what I found. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I see these other cars, but I, I think Noah, or what's his name? Jim is the only one here. Um, I don't know how long I'll be able to record for without getting copyrighted, but... And then for Hot Wheels, they have some pretty nice ones too, like the, the Porsche. That's one of my favorites. They have some classy looking ones. I mean, I'm happy that I found my first case L vehicle. Now I just need like, I think three more or four being Mummy, Luigi, and Guido. Um, I think it's two news reporters that came out. And I think that's it. I think there's only four new cars in case L, but... Yeah, um, I'm gonna go to a few Walmarts. I went to a Walmart before this and I found some Spider-Man No Way Home figures from Marvel Legends. I'm gonna show you guys those in just a bit. Let me just go pay for this and I'll show you guys. All right, so here's what I got so far. Walgreens had this guy, um, $5.99. A little pricier than, you know, Target and Walmart, but hey, better than paying like 30 bucks on eBay. And this is what I got at Walmart. I didn't record anything, but you know, this is what I got. No Way Home Spider-Man and J. Jonah Jameson. I'm looking for Doctor Strange in the black and gold suit Spider-Man and the upgraded suit Spider-Man exclusive to Walmart. So hopefully I find those. So pretty good day so far. Pretty good day. Um, if you've seen my live stream on Instagram, you'll know that I locked myself out of my car. That's not going to happen this time. I put the key inside first. Now I won't get locked out. See, it's all good now. All right, I'll catch you all at the next Walmart. Uh, that's all they have for Marvel Legends at this Walmart. I arrived to another Walmart and this is the car's aisle or s little section. We can't even call it an aisle anymore. That's kind of sad. Um, without touching anything because I honestly don't want to get my hands off. I I I'm a germaphobe, man. Um, I can already tell there's nothing good. So I'm going to just head out <sighs> and I'm going to go look at the Marvel Legends section. And then after that, if there's nothing, then I'll just go to Target, which is like right across the street. Well, at first glance, all I see is the Eternals, but I'm not really interested in those yet. So I'm gonna pass on them. 
I've seen him at Target before, so. Now I'm at Target, and that was the Marvel Legends section. So now, let's go check out the car section. All right, well, here's the car section. Um, I want to go pick up some stuff. Don't ask. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it here for now. Uh, so here's the car section. I don't see much, if I'm gonna be honest. They got these, which I found at my local Target, so. Oh, no way. Oh! <gasps> No way. There, they, there's a Carla one also. <gasps> yes, here it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, in a racing red. Oh, yo. That is so lucky. Oh, thank. Look at that. This, this trip was worth it. And they got a bunch of these too. I think I might need a shopping cart. All right, I found a shopping cart here in the books section. It's not any Funko Pops that are new or needed so i'm going to show you guys a little disney store display that they have here look at that disney store lives look at that this is awesome the little cups more of these oops i dropped a cup Oh, look at this one. At least there's cars, Disney store stuff still here. So there's some hope. This is pretty cool. Oh, and there's this one right here with the Apple next gen. There's some 15 packs down there. And I think that's it. Well, guys, this is the last Target I'm coming to today. Um, this is the car section. It's not bad. This is where I found the Luigi and Guido with the keychains. Um, Looks like they got the case also, but there's no Carla Veloso, so I guess it's kind of cool that I went to the other Target to get Carla. But yeah, it's good to know that they're not too difficult to find, despite being new. I mean, and that's that's literally it. That's the only mini racer stuff they have, so either they have it in the back or someone just took the Carla one and was like, Okay, I'm gonna get this for my kid, blah, 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 not knowing that they're new or something. I don't know. Uh, I already looked at this last time that I came at night, so... This is the Hot Wheels section, looking as scalped as always. Um, yeah, nothing much. Let me check out the Marvel Legends. Yeah, this is my local Target, so like I told you guys earlier, this is where they have almost every Eternals figure that is out at the moment. There's some No Way Home merch, but uh, no Marvel Legends from even What If. That's the one I really want, especially the Zombie Hunter Spider. Anyways, I'll catch you all at Walmart. All right, last Walmart of the day, and this is the car section. Yeah, just by looking, I already know there's nothing. So let's go to the Marvel section, which is right over here. <sighs> oh well. Well, I'm gonna go check out Walgreens now, and that'll be the last stop of the day. All right, well, this is the last stop of the day at Walgreens, and I see these. I think I already have this one, so I'll pass on it. But it is, you know, a sign that they did have Case L here, just that most of it sold. At least that's what I think. Anywho, well, it was quite the interesting day to hunt. Hey, at least I got some cookies and the mini racers at that one target. Three new packs. Jim Renvrick at a different Walgreens and two Marvel Legends at a Walmart. Overall, was the trip worth it? I say it was. Did I expect a little bit more? Kinda, but at the same time, we're talking McAllen. And McAllen has tons of resellers and scalpers. So for a town that has a ton of resellers, I think I did it quite well. <sighs> One of my favorite things to do when I'm stressed. I mean, even in general, if I'm just like tired or, you know, just want a little bit of a stress reliever, I just, you know, come shopping. Let's see. Oh, 
someone murdered the car section because they got the case with the racing red crews. I can tell because of that guy. Yeah, but there was definitely a reseller here, as I like saying, already here. They beat me to it. I'm not surprised, but hey, at least it's a sign that the case is finally here. Holy shit, what? there's three of this guy, so that means they probably had two of these cases. And it's pretty cool that they have these here now, so. They used to only be at ATB, but now um, Target has them, which is a little bit of a shocker. I'm going to start looking for color changes again now because they released an intro Ramon and a um, snot rod. So I have to keep a lookout for that. But it seems to be just filmers and cruising McQueens and sheriffs. Unless they were in this case and I, you know, was late to the party. It's a bit of a mess here, though. As far as Thomas goes, they have the horrendous reboot merch already. Which is disgusting, but, um, I mean, it's, the packaging is the same as the older stuff, so it just really looks out of place and stupid. But, um, yeah. As far as Marvel Legends go, this is really impressive. Wow. It's, whoa. There's so many. Well, as the sun sets, I got two more stores to go to, being ATB Plus and Walmart, so... I'll catch you guys inside of HGB and let you know if I find anything. Okay, here's the car section. It's the first time I see the Danico Chopper on 2021 Cardback. So that's pretty cool to see. They have a Nick and they got these in now, so that's pretty cool. Oh, that one talks. The other one didn't. That one talks too. Hey, what is this doing here? What are all of these doing here? Oh, that was just one of them. Lurking, I see. Look at these maters right here. Tons of maters, eh? Look at that. I remember, I, the first time I found that, it was, I think, May of 2020. It was like around quarantine. It was awesome. Uh, that's kind of sad. I don't want to touch it because then if I leave fingerprints, they're going to think I did it. Uh, unfortunately, nothing at HEB. This is what HEB has for Marvel Legends. It's pretty interesting. They have Odin from the Infinity Saga series. I think it's all Odin. Odin, Odin, yeah. And they have some Shang-Chi ones, which is pretty cool. And some Gamerverse ones. But none that are, what's it called? Disney Plus related. Honestly, I haven't bought or found anything tonight. But I don't know, this just makes me happy being here and, you know, just shopping. It's been a hobby of mine for, I mean, ever since I was a little kid, so I mean. All right, so here we go to the car section. Uh, there's not much. I can tell that they've sold quite a bit of stuff, but there's nothing new. At least for me. Um... Over here on the Marvel Legends side, there's nothing except Baron Zemo and Captain America. Big shame because this um, store had the Disney Plus What If Wave. But, you know, it's whatever. I already got the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man through um, uh, Walmart's website. I mean, not Walmart's website. GameStop's website. So at least I don't have to be looking for it in the stores anymore. I can rest. So there's that stuff up there. Lots of stuff. What's up there? Jackson Storm. Uh, what is that? Philip or what does it say? Fillmore. Oh, color changes. Fillmore. The Cruising McQueen and a RS Twenty Four Hours Jackson Storm. And as far as Hot Wheels goes, yeah, scalpers at their finest. All right, guys, the 17th of October, Sunday. I'm at the first Walmart of the day, and I can already tell there's, oh. Well, that sucks. Anywho, this is the first Walmart I'm coming to, and I don't really seem, oh. Oh. Okay. 
Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Ah, uh, that's stupid logo, huh? I'm not gonna get it, but it's really nice to see that guy re-release Todd Marcus. See, this pack makes sense. I, I applaud you, Mattel, for once. Um, it's not bad of a car section, if I'm gonna be honest. It's not really that bad. All right, well, not bad, but I'm not gonna pick up anything here. Okay, um, now I'm at a Walgreens. I don't know what I'm gonna find. Now I'm coming to a bunch of Walgreens because, you know, ever, so, uh, ever since I found the... What's his name? Jim Reverick, I think that's his name. Now I'm like looking for stuff that they might have. But... <gasps> no way. <gasps> Child's Play, what the hell? That was too easy. Almost too easy. Is this a setup? No, there's no way it was just lit. <gasps> yes. Oh, I'm trying to hold in my excitement. <laughs> but, oh, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, well, that was interesting. It wasn't scanning. And they almost didn't want to sell it to me. They were like, we can't sell this to you. I was like, nah, bullshit. I'm taking it. And it was 549 so. All right, the boys are back in town at Target. Um, so I'm here with CRS. Yes, and we're going to go hunt at Target, looking for Marvel Legends, Funko Pops, and cars and Hot Wheels. And uh, what don't we look for? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's, they put a Disney store. No way, that's a giant mouse right there. The big cheese is here. Okay, cars. I feel like I'm gonna find something. Don't see me. Oh look, you should get this one. You've been wanting this one. I have? <laughs> I have? <laughs> I don't want it. You don't want it? They actually have decent stock. Well, it's a little bit messy, right? But uh, some color changers. Well, there's nothing that I need, but it's still one of my favorite targets, hands down. Sarge on 2021 card. I don't think I've seen him before. And they have this guy, Clovis. It's a pretty cool car. Other oh, you found a, a Mabius? A, a guy took it and then this is the last one. Like he just took it as soon as he got there? Yeah. Oh, damn. You got lucky then. This is the last one. So you're going to get a Mobius? Yeah, but I don't have money. But, so that sucks. Um, look, there's these two. I feel like you're going to like this one. Or this one. Where is he? There he is. Not bad. Okay, now I'm coming to this Walmart, so let's see what they got. Okay, here's the car section, and I see a bunch of launchers down here, but I don't even think the Francesco one is out yet, so it's just a bunch of McQueens and all that. I like seeing at least that they're stacked on endurance racers and color changers. A little bit of NASCAR too, so. But nothing really new. Sadly. Oh. Kids are screaming at high pitches and stuff. It's annoying. Hey, look, they got some cases up here though. Case J. I gotta take a look at this now. Oh, wait. Holy, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, someone's been through this. Yeah, someone has been through this. Damn it. Huh. Okay. Found the case J. I'm gonna put it right here because I see another case up there. What is this though? It's a tiny little box. Oh, color changers. Case J, isn't that? Oh no, it's not the one with racing crews. I think it's the one with racing by Francesco. Oh. Interesting. I had no idea that she got re-released for this case. Who 
Who's this? Oh. I don't even think this is the right case contents. Everything is so random. Um, someone let me know if these are the right case contents because I'm really confused. Hmm. Alright guys, now I'm at an HEB Plus and the car section is really small. Oh well. So I came to another Walgreens in hopes of finding more cars. And I just see these two. I always forget if I have this one or not, but I've passed on her so many times, so I'm guessing I do have it. I just don't remember. A very dry Funko section. There's just like two, four, six, seven, eight. Eight Funkos. Yeah, and two little mini figure bags of. WandaVision and all that stuff. Oh well, what a shame, but hey, um, throughout this whole trip, the only thing I really bought was Mummy, Luigi, and Guido at that one Walgreens, so kind of sucks, but hey, it's been fun hunting, I gotta say, at least. Okay, I'm at yet another Walmart. What was I expecting? There's just a ton of these packs, so at least it's not rare or anything, the good thing. So this next target is the last target I'm coming to for today, and they also have a Disney store inside. Boy! Hmm, hmm. Very interesting. You loop around over here and you're at the electronics. I see some cases out, some boxes, so they might be restocking right now. Plenty of boxes out. Where's the car section? I don't even see it. Oh, the Funko Pops are here. Interesting. Well, this Target is under remodeling, so that makes sense. Okay, I guess we stumbled upon the Marvel Legends section first. Interesting. They got lots of what-if Funkos. Where's cars? Oh, here it is. Hmm. Now, let's be real. What am I expecting to, to find? There's so many color changers. Yeah? Over here. Nada. All right, this is the second last Walmart that I'm coming to today. Chill, I'll pick it up in a bit. A kid probably was slobbering that, so I'm not going to touch that. I'm so tired, man. After a day of hunting, over an hour away from home, I'm exhausted. There's nothing. Marvel Legends, same thing. I don't even see the pegs for them. Yeah, there's nothing. Guys, as soon as I was about to leave, car section's right there, and I saw this end cap right here. This is, this is what I was looking for this whole time. But I'm confused about one thing though. Oh, Why is it here? Why is it here? I don't care, I'm taking one. Okay, and my last Walmart of the day. I 
Yeah, I wasn't expecting. Oh! <gasps> what is that? It's the hers! You should get them. I need to get them. They, that means they had Racing Red Cruz. Oh, man. Keyword had. Someone took her. Damn it. Okay, I just, just look high and low. They might have it like up there or something. I mean, I can't see. But I think they have some stuff up there. Alright, guys. Oops. I was listening to Life is a Highway. Anyways, it's uh, October 22nd. I'm at Target. Um, I just got out of school and it's slightly drizzling. And I'm gonna go check out the cars section, hoping to find something. I'm mainly looking for the color changers intro Ramon and it's not Rod. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing else I'm really looking for. Let's see, let's see. Oh, they stole McQueen. Oh, bro, I swear, they, they don't stop stocking with these. I'm guessing that's the main line now. They have Fillmore and the Cruising McQueen, but nada. No Ramon or Snot Rod, even. I just realized they're selling out of the keychain ones, too, now. Yeah, the, the car section doesn't look that bad. It's actually pretty well stocked. Oh man, well, I'm gonna go check Walmart real quick. Update on the Apple Store construction. They just need to display the products and I think they're pretty much done. It looks really nice. I'm getting Best Buy vibes. Okay, car section. Um, they got these in. This is my local Walmart, so it's great to see those. They look really attractive, the packs. I like how they've um, displayed them now. The singles are not stocking. Endurance and NASCAR looks the same. Never color changes Francesco. I don't see him too often anymore. So I'm guessing he's one of the more popular ones. Sheriff is back there. Jackson, Fillmore, Cruising McQueen. Basically stuff I already have, but it's still a not bad of a stock inventory. All right, I think I might go to two more targets and two more Walmarts and that's it for today's hunt video. So wish me the best of luck because I'm really hoping to find the two color changers I'm missing. And the Hot Wheels section is always looking completely murdered. Isn't that nice? All right, another Walmart. Okay, it's okay. Nothing good. Okay, at the next target. Let's see what they got. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. <sighs> okay. It looks very much like the last target I was at. And I don't see the color changers. Uh, I'm so close to giving up already. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, that's on sale. Makes sense, I mean, the place that sucks. All right, I was about to leave and I saw the little Pixar Fest end cap. There's some stuff down here. Oh my gosh, when are they gonna stop stocking those, man? I mean, it's pretty cool, right? You gotta admit. It's cool that they have so many of them, but at the same time, it's like, well, goodbye to classic singles, I guess. This looks hella cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pegs for Marvel Legends. And of course, they got Moby ish. All right, at HEB. Oh, what's this I see? HEB has these now? Interesting. 
bro, they literally just stocked this. Look at that. Dude. That's awesome. Yeah, they literally just stocked these, I can tell. Because they have all of them. Damn it. I'll clean it up right now. Oh, look, it's the rock. Yep, they got so many for 372. <sighs> cool, cool, cool. Hey, at least this case, the case is getting the attention it deserves. It's a really good case. I'll clean it up in a bit. So, since I found all of the case L at HEB, kinda getting a little cocky. <laughs> So now I think I might find something at Target. I just have a little gut feeling. I might find something. It's really good seeing these here though. I always forget if I have those two or not. Fillmore, Francesco, oh my gosh, there's so many Francescos here. A Dynaco 3-pack. Jackson, Mater, Fillmore, 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 Fillmore. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, I had the feeling. I guess I was wrong though. Uh, I'm so happy with what I found at HEB though. I don't know why, but this pack always gives me nostalgia. The same with like when I look at Lizzie. Bro, what the? Is it like some sort of Hot Wheels shortage around the world? Because for some reason now it seems like Cars is stocking better than Hot Wheels. Because we go back a few hunt videos that I've been recording for the past year or so. And the stock sucks for Cars. For Pixar Cars. As in like singles. But now Hot Wheels sucks. It's a little... Looks like they flipped, or it looks like Hot Wheels now learned Pixar Cars' method of heavy bed stock, I guess you could say. I don't know. <laughs> um, I might go to one more Walmart. One more. Smells like Toys R Us for some reason. All right, this is the last Target I'm coming to today and the last one for the hunt video. So hopefully we find something. All right, it looks like they just opened a case here at Target. It seems to be the Racing Red Cruise case, but I think someone might've been here already and just literally beat me to it. Stupid scalpers. Yeah. There's a case right there. Case K. Oh, I haven't seen these in a while. Who left this here? Alright. Color changers. Anything. Please, please, please. Oh, you can tell they had racing red crews. BZP, you dropped the car. Give me a second, I'll pick it up. Oh, come on. I got here too late, literally. I'm like all oh, tired and stuff because I drove all the way over here in a rush and nothing. Oh my fucking gosh, bro, come on. I wanted to get my brother a racing red cruise for Christmas. Bro, I fucking hate eBay sellers, honestly. Ruin the fun. There, there it is, Case K. As empty as it'll ever look. Am I right? Honestly, man, at this point, I've lost all hope. I don't think I'm gonna find the color changers I wanted. 
maybe I'll score them for Black Friday, but that's a very slim chance. I don't know how that's gonna go. <sighs> I hate how the racing red cars have been so hard to find this year. Literally, the only reason I think they're rare is because scammers, I mean scammers, scalpers see them and they're like, oh, it's a Target exclusive racing red. Very hard to find, discontinued, limited edition, super treasure haunt. <sighs> I cringe and I get mad because there's people who actually want those and they can't get them because people are hoarding them. That's the worst part. And HEB, I mean, the one I went to had a full case L, which was really impressive. But you look at this one right here and it's like, why did I even bother coming in? Am I right or am I wrong? 